All right, so let's talk about the different types of Java exceptions. Um, so we've looked at throw, the keyword that we use to actually generate an exception in our code. We throw an exception. It's literally throw and then an instance of, of something that gets throwable. And it turns out in Java, exceptions are objects along with everything else. And there's actually a specific category of objects that we can throw that are called throwable, of course. So here's the Java doc for this. And if you look down here, uh, it says the throwable class is the superclass of all errors and exceptions in Java. Only objects that are instances of this class are thrown or can be thrown, right? And you'll see there's two ways that exceptions can be thrown. Um, there's one case where it's thrown by the Java virtual machine. That's when like there's an error, like a null pointer exception. You didn't use throw in your code, but there was still an error thrown. Um, and then also by the Java throws statement. Similarly, these are only things that we can catch. So anything that's part of a catch clause has to be a throwable or have an is a relationship with throwable. And then anything we throw and anything that the Java virtual machine throws when there's an error also has that same property. So I want to focus on three different uh, types that we're going to look through together. Um, you'll see uh, two of the, uh, there's uh, two direct subclasses of throwable. Um, the one that you see much more often, and in fact, sometimes people don't even know that throwable exists because you're typically using exception. Okay, we'll come back and talk about errors in a minute. There's two types of exceptions we want to look at. Um, one is just ex what are called exceptions or checked exceptions. These are exceptions that the compiler is actually going to check to make sure that you handle. And we'll see an example of that in one of the walkthroughs in just a minute. Um, there's lots and lots of different uh, subclasses of this and it's very easy to create your own. Um, there's one I want to look at uh, in particular and it's always tough to find. Okay, here we go. Runtime exception. Um, okay. Um, so you'll see here, remember I said that the, the exceptions are checked exceptions. The runtime exception subcategory or subclass, I should call, of, of exception are unchecked exceptions. And these do not need to be declared in a method throws clause and they don't need to be necessarily handled. One of the reasons for this is that unchecked exceptions or runtime exceptions, this category includes a lot of things like null pointer exceptions, array index out of bounds, that occur due to programmer error that actually aren't uh, thrown using throw. They're actually thrown by the Java virtual machine, uh, the program that's running your Java code when it encounters a problem, usually because of something dumb that you did or that I did. Right? I don't want to make you feel bad about it. We all make these type of mistakes, but this is what happens when one of those mistakes happen is that the Java virtual machine actually throws a runtime exception. So that's one category. Uh, the other category are exceptions generally, and these are mostly checked exceptions. Um, so you'll see here the class exception and any subclasses are checked exceptions. Oh, sorry. Uh, the class exception and any subclasses that are not subclasses of runtime exception are checked exceptions. Checked exceptions need to be declared in a method's throw clause um, if they are thrown in that method. And I'll, sh I'll show you how that works in, in one of the walkthroughs that we go through. Okay, so, so these are the two types of exceptions. There's checked exceptions that the compiler is going to force you to handle. And then there are unchecked exceptions that the compiler is not going to force you to handle. And, usually, and really that's because the compiler doesn't even know necessarily that those are going to happen. Because a lot of times they're due to programmer error that the compiler hasn't been able to detect. Okay. Uh, let's go back up here to throwable. And I want to talk briefly about this third category. We're not going to talk much about this, uh, but it's here. Um, these are errors, okay? An error in Java is, the Java doc indicates, is something that indicates a serious problem that a reasonable application should not try to catch. Now, sometimes you do catch these, but you don't handle them. You just throw them again, um, and that's fine. Um, so, you know, the, the idea with errors is that this is, this is something serious has gone wrong and there's usually nothing you can do about it at that point. Usually at the time that you've, you've thrown an error, you're at a place where the program is about to crash. Like your app's about to crash, your program's about to stop running. Um, these are usually not recoverable. Uh, but you can catch them and sometimes in the catch statement you'll do something like log some information or whatever just so you know what happened. But these are also a subcategory of throwable. Okay, so three main categories of throwable that are of interest to us. We've got our errors, which are these really serious conditions. Uh, we have our checked exceptions, which inherit from exception, except for that one subcategory, which is taking me a minute to find again, of these runtime exceptions that are unchecked. And we'll, we'll look 
more specifically into the syntax of you know the difference between the checked and the unchecked exceptions and how that works out in terms of how we have to handle them in, in just a second.